Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at Since Matthew Knowles no longer manages the members of Destiny Child or even their cheering for that matter, he is on a crusade to make his coins any means necessary, honey. Now he's selling the lost tapes from the group's first album when they were known as Girls Time. But fool, ain't nobody trying to hear that kids bop. Child, give it up, Pop Pop. It is over. These women are almost 40 and you selling music from when they were 9 and 10? Ain't nobody trying to hear that. Now old Mr. Matthew knows. Get some Vlad TV. And when I tell you this man is delusional, honey, as the day is long. Now they got a saying that says one lie is enough to question all truths. And I'm going to tell you, he started off this interview with the biggest lie ever and it had me looking at him with the side eye for the rest of the interview now he mentioned that the group destiny's child was going to be signed by prince but something ended up happening but the group was so great that they were in the likes of greatness honey he said diana ross was in one studio prince was in another studio and marvin gay Mar the marvin gay the let's get it on marvin gay was in another studio now i grew up listening to marvin gay i know he died before i was born so i'm sitting here thinking like if Beyonce was born in 81 and Marvin Gaye died in 84 how in the world was this little bitty baby in the studio recording next to Marvin Gaye if you don't go sit down somewhere Matthew and I guess Prince wanted to sign the group himself and, and that's why this book the untold story is, is hopefully fascinating at one point the girls were in the room uh, in the studio in Sausalito California uh, Prince was in one room, Marvin Gaye was in another room, Diana Ross was in another room. I mean, this is a type of exposure that these ladies had at a very, very early age. Uh, so as I was writing the book, I said, man, this is always, what an appropriate name, Destiny's Child, because they've always had this destiny about them. Well, I mean, I just looked it up. Marvin Gaye died in 1984. Well, maybe it wasn't Marvin Gaye. Who, who else was it? <laughs> Somewhere in the book we talk about, uh, I think uh, Arnie talks about who, who were all the people in the room. <laughs> that comment right there. Now, Matthew wrote the book. The book is out now, and Matthew does not recall who was in the room. Now, it's one thing for you to not recall who was in the room, but for you to start making up people that are no longer with us here on this earth and put them in a room. I can't. The remainder of this interview and anything coming out of Matthew's mouth from here on now has me looking at him with a side eye. Child, the way Vlad called him out had me dead to the bed. I couldn't take it anymore, honey. Then Matthew went on to drag Jagged Edge under the bus, honey, saying that two of the members were harassing Beyonce and Kelly. Uh, Latavia and Latoya were in the group with Beyonce and Kelly. And then you talked about in the album, I'm sorry, you talked about in the book where they approached you well, you got a letter that's saying that you will no longer be managing them and you they have their own managers. Correct. And that kind of cre created a big problem. Well, that started really from uh, a, a poor decision that I made and putting on that tour we just talked about with John B. on putting both Destiny's Child and Jagged Edge on the same tour bus. Now remember, the girls are minors. They're minors. They're 16, 16 years old. Uh, the, the guys are 21, 22 years old. Uh, I have a fiduciary duty with minors by the law. There's a certain way I have to manage that. Uh, I got a call from Kelly and Beyonce, and I talk about this in the book in detail, uh, saying that they were constantly being harassed by two other members of, of Jacket Edge, uh, and I couldn't have that. And I literally had to put the guys off the bus in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. That began all of this drama. 
Now, I told y'all before, it's something about Matthew knows in that memory. Sometimes he seems like he can't get it right. Now, on Jagged Edge Unsung episode, everyone else's memory seems to serve them differently about what happened on that tour bus. We started getting feedback that two of the girls of Destiny Child was being entertained by a couple of members of Jagged Edge to the point that the influence was felt, at least from Destiny Child's management, to be bigger than he wanted. While on tour together, it all came to a head. We were we were somewhere in Louisiana, and Latoya's mother, Miss Pam, we called her, was gonna ride on the bus with us. And our management was like, if Pam gets on that bus, then y'all are gonna lose your job. We were like, hell no, like you're not gonna kick somebody's mother off a bus, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. Jagged Edge stood up for Miss Pam because it's wrong. You can't just leave this girl's mother. We were asked to leave. <laughs> we got kicked off the bus. He ended up kicking us off and the mom. We were real people, and he didn't like that. And I think it was as simple as that. It was a big thing. And then, of course, you know, not long thereafter, there were new members being introduced to Destiny's Child. Child, now I had to do some digging to get the rest of this dirt up, so y'all already know what time it is. Now, this tour that Matthew Knowles was referring to is the Art and Believe Tour with John B. headlining. It was towards the end of 1998 when the girls went to Louisiana, and at the time, everyone was 17 except for Latavia, who was still 16. Now, they're saying that Latoya was dating Brian, and Latavia was dating his twin, Brandon, and it seems like Latavia's mother did not have any issues with the two dating. Let me tell you how I know why. Now, I met the girls personally November 1st, 1999, took pictures with them, got my album signed, everything. That day happened to be Latavia's 18th birthday, and yes, I covered my face because y'all ain't about to rag on me, honey. I was a teenager and I was looking rough. <laughs> and Latavia and Latoya both gave thanks in the inner inscription of the cover to Jagged Edge. Beyonce and Kelly did not. However, Latavia had a little bit more to say to her boo, Brandon. Latavia said, my baby and and backbone Brandon I know that nothing is promised to me and you so I'll never let this thing go Jagged Edge had a hit song called promise so that's what she was quoting and she was at least 16 or 17 because this album came out when she was 17 Matthew her mom and everybody else was cool with it oh uh, I have a fiduciary duty with minors by the law, there's a certain way I have to manage that. But now it's the problem, it's these old men. Now the real gag is, Brandon that was dating Latavia used to date Candy Burris, and he wrote the song Gotta Be for Candy Burris. Well, there are two videos for Gotta Be, and Destiny's Child was in one of them. Kelly and Beyonce included. Mm-hmm, child. Matthew can't blame nobody but himself for letting these little teenagers play with these grown tail men. Now he's wanting to scream victim, child, but Jagged Edge had a response that they let out on their official Jagged Edge Instagram page, and Brian Casey of Jagged Edge said the same thing. A lie don't care who tell it. Then he said, one thing I have learned in my 20 plus years in the business, and it's always something. It's actually actually funny how far people go to tell something laugh out loud but I give all praises to the most high at all times shalom loved ones child Matthew knows is doing the absolute most he was doing whatever he could to get his daughter's face out there and these girls as well it's not like he didn't have Beyonce in the happily ever after video with case when she was 17 years old and from what I hear after the surviving R. Kelly documentary they took that video down along with many others that Beyonce was in when she was too young so Matthew miss me with all of this nonsense anyway I need to know what you guys feel about this Matthew knows and Vlad interview did you watch it and what do you think about him trying to throw Jagged Edge under the bus leave a comment and tell me what you think and you know how we do we'll talk about it down below talk to you guys later bye all right in this video I want to tell you about a company called Ash Kicking. now you know your girl Chronicles would not promote a company without doing one of those thorough Chronicle speaks investigations honey and ash kicking definitely passed the test y'all make sure to check out ashkicking.com for one of the best 100% natural home fragrance and beauty products honey and use my code chronicles at checkout for an extra 15% off just for you 
As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.